Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering decision tree in data mining. We also call this decision tree as decision tree classifier or decision tree induction. Guys, I have uploaded complete data mining subject tutorials. I will provide link in description. You can watch from there. Let's get started. Decision tree is supervised learning technique and by using this decision tree, we can solve both classification problems and as well as regression problems. The name itself says decision tree. That means by using this tree, we can take decisions. This decision tree will represent classification model and regression model in the form of tree structure. That means this decision tree is represented in the form of tree that is used to solve problem. Decision tree contains three types of nodes. They are root node, internal node and last one is leaf node. For example, this is decision tree. In decision tree, topmost node is known as root node and last nodes are called as leaf nodes and nodes which are in between this root node and leaf node is known as internal node for example this is table this table contains three attributes they are student marks and result in decision tree we can store attributes inside the node for example we can store attribute student this internal nodes represent test on attribute and whereas leaf node represent class label in this table last attribute is known as class and data which is in this class is known as class label there are two types of class labels in this table they are pass and fail so leaf node represent class label that means we can write class label in this pass and fail root node and internal nodes are represented by rectangle and whereas leaf node is represented by oval these are the advantages of using decision tree first advantage is it does not require any domain knowledge. People, those who don't have any domain knowledge can also use this decision tree. This is first advantage. And second advantage is classification steps of decision tree are simple and fast. Whatever the classification steps that this decision tree contains, these steps are very simple and as well as fast. And third advantage is missing values in data does not affect output. Though there are some missing values in data, it does not affect the output of decision tree. This decision tree is automatic and does not require any standardization of data. Standardization means checking whether data is in correct format or not. So this decision tree is automatic. That means there is no need of checking that whether this data is in correct format or not. These are the advantages of decision tree. Building a decision tree is all about discovering attributes that returns highest data gain. Building decision tree is nothing but finding attributes that provides highest information. For example, if you consider this data set, this data set contains three attributes. They are student, marks and result. Decision tree is all about finding attributes that provides more useful information. There are two key factors that we need to consider in order to select an attribute that provide more useful information. The two key factors are first one is entropy and next one is information gain. Entropy refers to a common way to measure impurity. In the decision tree, it measures the impurity in data set by using entropy we can measure impurity in the data set. Next information gain. Information gain refers to the decline in entropy after data set is split. It is also called as entropy reduction. I will give an example so that you can clearly understand what is entropy and what is information gain. For example, this contains three attributes. They are name, gender and salary. Now I want to construct decision tree for person with highest salary and lowest salary. So in that situation, we need only name attribute and salary attribute. This gender attribute is not necessary for me. So in that situation, this gender attribute is considered as impure attribute. So by using entropy, we can find impure attribute. After finding impure attribute, this entropy will split this data set into two parts. One part contains useful information, whereas another part contains impure information. This is how data set looks like after splitting. After this, what information gain will do is this information gain will select only useful attributes and it will decline this impure attribute. So we can also call this information gain as entropy reduction. This is an example of how to construct decision tree. This is training data set. By using this training data set, we constructed this decision tree. This training data set contains six attributes, one, two, three, four, five, six. Here last attribute is known as class and whatever the data that is present inside this class, we call this as class label. Here S and no is class label. Nodes represent attribute and whereas edges represent values in attribute. For example, if you consider this, here weather is attribute. So inside this node, I return weather and total there are three types of values present inside this attribute. They are sunny, 
cloudy and rainy so total i took three edges they are sunny cloudy and rainy this table says that based on the weather condition person will play game or not here total there are three types of weather conditions one is sunny next one is cloudy and third one is rainy if if weather condition is cloudy then person will play the game here also person will play the game yes and here last cloudy yes here cloudy is repeated three times that is day two is cloudy day three is cloudy and day nine is cloudy in all these three cases here result is yes that is whenever weather condition is cloudy person will play the game so here directly i written weather cloudy as yes here output of weather condition cloudy is yes i am considering weather condition sunny total sunny is repeated three times that is day one day five and day eight here whenever weather condition is sunny and humidity is high person will not play the game so result is no and whenever humidity is normal then person will play the game here in day one weather condition is sunny and humidity is high so here result is no and in day five weather condition is sunny and humidity is normal so if humidity is normal then person will play the game and in day eight weather condition is sunny and humidity is high so person will not play the game so whenever weather condition is sunny and humidity is high result is no and whenever humidity is normal result is yes next weather condition is rainy here weather condition rainy repeated four times that is day four day six day seven and day ten whenever weather condition is rainy and wind is strong then play is no that means whenever weather condition is rainy and wind is strong person cannot play the game so result is no and whenever weather condition is rainy and wind is weak then person can play the game so result is yes these are the two situations weather condition cloudy does not depends on any other attributes but weather condition sunny depends on humidity and whereas weather condition rainy depends on wind this is how we constructed decision tree by using this training data set now i am creating decision rules based on this decision tree total there are five class labels that is total there are five outputs that is one two three four five so total i need to create five rules first rule is if weather condition is cloudy then then play is yes this is one rule and second rule is if weather condition is sunny and humidity is high then play is no this is another rule and if weather condition is sunny and humidity is normal then play is yes this is third rule and if weather condition is rainy and wind is strong then play is no this is fourth rule and if weather condition is rainy and wind wind is weak then play is yes this is fifth rule these are the five rules i created based on this decision tree by using decision tree we can create decision rules or by using this decision rules also we can create this decision tree now i given new input to this decision tree that is day 11 weather condition is cloudy and temperature is hot humidity is high and wind is weak now i want to find whether person will play game or not either yes or no i need to find whenever i give this input to this decision tree this decision tree will check rule that is weather condition is cloudy then result is yes so directly it will produce result as yes play is yes this is how output is generated 